Yeah. 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 Eric says the 3Ds are here, guys. This is the fourth location. Yo, what the? <laughs> I'm not here, right? Oh, wait, wait, is that it? Yep, that's it. Bro, they literally have one blue 3D. Why the fuck? Guys, I woke up and I needed, I needed a blue 3D. Wait, where are the other ones? Yeah, way in the back. Oh, there's a... Uh, no, 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 that's the only one. That's the only one. Bro, and out of all places, Eric knew we came to this area and I wanted a blue 3D. I swear to God I manifested this shit. And yes, I know I look very Asian and tired. And they have only the blue 3D right there. Bro, life is good. We're chilling. Accomplished. Now let's go eat some breakfast. All right, guys, after a long anticipation and wait, three days down the hatch. God damn. So this I would rate probably about a nine out of 10. And the ghost uh, blue rise, but I'd probably give it like a 7.5. It was very good. It was just a little too soury and too candy-like. This to me just tastes like, it's more subtle, it's more casual, it doesn't like <gasps> hit you, you know, especially early in the morning. So anyways, we have this, guys. I'm here with the homies. Kate, say, what's up? What's up? What's happening? Eric, say, what's up? What's up? What's up? And yeah, guys, it's fairly early. What time is it? Like 10, 30, 11? About 11. It's about 11 right now, guys. We woke up uh, at around 10. They were out late. I was, I don't know, I wasn't out that late, but I still went to bed at like 12. So guys, we have a workout with How to Beast and all of them. And by the way, welcome. What's going on? This is vlog number two. I know I kind of started it abruptly, but um, yeah, that's 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 just how it is. So we're gonna get caffeinated. We're actually on the way to Denny's right now to get some food, carb up, and then we're gonna work out. I believe in the next couple hours with How to Beast. Get some content for Edge. Y'all know the flex, and we got some exciting stuff after that. So Denny's pancakes, maybe, maybe not. Let's go. Wow. Check this Denny's out, boys. We got that retro vibe. All right, guys, we are currently waiting outside the one and only Denny's, which, uh, to be honest, I don't have too often, but we need some quick food because I may, not 100%, may hit a PR today on bench. What, what do you think? What, what are the chances? I believe we can do it. <laughs> I believe no, I can. Uh, what about you, Kate? What, what are we thinking? He's got it for sure. He's got it for sure. We'll see, guys. Maybe with the power of the uh, 3D. With 3D. But before I speak about that, guys, that'll be later on. It will be a bench PR. I want to quickly get on uh, Kate on the channel to give you guys a bit of backstory because he is another Edge athlete on how he found Edge and why we're not working together. All right, so David and I met uh, like right after I signed with Edge. Uh, one of his videos popped up on my Explore page. I saw Edge Lifestyle in his bio. So I messaged him. I was like, yo, bro, I just joined the team. Um, Edge kind of found me through Alpha Lead. I did a shoot that for Alpha Lead a few months ago, like before Edge kind of blew up. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, right after that, they called me and told me, hey, we'd love to work with you. Let's go, brother. All right, baby, we are rocking with, what do you guys think of A, B, C, D? If you guessed C, if that's what I said, then you guessed correct. Philly cheesesteak omelet, three egg omelet. We got some steak in that bitch, a little bit of cheese. It also comes with um, hash browns and toast for that pump because you guys know we're gonna aim for a PR today if all goes well. Fueled also by 3D, so that's gonna be our breakfast. What you getting, man? I'm probably gonna get this sanitary seasoned skillet. It comes with two eggs, some chorizo, a little Ooh. bit of potatoes. Guys got that chorizo. All right, big man who is six, six and a half. <laughs> what we getting? Uh, I'm gonna rock with the, uh, the French toast slam. Awesome, Dang. thank you. <laughs> Jeez. Jeez. All right, boys, time to muck. Y'all know the flex. Let's go. All right, guys, we are now back at the Airbnb, which is right up there. Everyone's getting ready. We're going to head to the gym, which I believe is called Gym One in, in Austin. I've never been there, but it's been on the channel with How to Beast. So, yeah, should be dope, guys. Like I said, I am going to try to attempt a PR today, I believe. If all goes well, which I'm not in optimal conditions, like obviously you guys knew I was jet lagged, sleep was not the best. But last night it was pretty good. I had a pretty good meal. I had a 3D. So, you know, so far things are feeling all right. I would like to go for 315, which is three plates on bench for a set of five. Now keep in mind guys, my max PR that I did beforehand was a set of three, but it was paused, like slightly paused. So if I go for the set of five, it will not be paused. Like I'm just doing it for YouTube more or less. It'll be a tap and go. But uh, yeah, it's honestly 50-50, it depends. My body could completely reject it and I could feel like absolute shit because of the flights, the layover, the you know, everything. Or I don't know, maybe God's with me and things are okay. But regardless, I think it'll make cool content. But before I do that guys, let me fly up the drone, show you a little bit of the area. I have no clue if this is gonna look sick because I'm not a drone, I can't see what's around. but. 
Hopefully it looks dope. Enjoy these drone clips, and then I believe we'll see you guys right at the gym with How To Beast and all of them getting a good lift. And then later tonight, we have a good portion of the shoot left, which is gonna be the nighttime shoot. So on a rooftop, I'm gonna bring the drone again. It should be dope because the majority of the shooting uh, was done yesterday with that drone clip. And then see you at this new gym. Cause I thought I could swim But we break up every weekend I, 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 Was it gonna be like that, oh I just wanted you so bad Playing with my mind, was that your intention? Cause I'm missing you and all right, guys, what is up? It is a little bit later. I always say that, guys. We are rocking with around 3.30 or 3.25. This is actually my second 3D, guys. After the drone clips you saw, we ended up chilling just a little bit, really just taking a nap, taking it easy, had a green tea, really just relaxing. We were gonna go to the gym right then and there, but we've postponed it a couple hours because Edge had to do some more work back at the apartment. So our ride will be here within the next five to 10 minutes to pick us up, to go to the gym, to hopefully hit this PR, guys, of three plates for a set of five. And and uh, yeah, guys, I'm feeling good. I just wanted to update you guys, just have some, there we go, let's take this off, some personal chats with you guys. You know, guys, in a nutshell, this trip has been absolutely fantastic. It's been amazing. It's been so eye-opening and really just full circle. That's the best way I can put it. It's been a very full circle moment, so many of them. But I wanted to let you guys know that it hasn't been like the smoothest ride internally. As you guys know, the past few months, I've been going through a lot of shadow work and really, you guys know the shadow work I was going through was control, just being super hyper controlling and this trip has definitely exposed uh, you know a bit of those insecurities now I've definitely let go of quite a bit and I'm going with the flow you guys know I'm accessing much more of a trusting uh, letting go lover mode that for lack of better terms that's really what it is and traveling especially you need to be in that flow just like a tree right guys just blowing in the wind where it takes you that doesn't mean you're passive that doesn't mean you know you're a little bitch or you don't do anything no but it just means trusting God trusting life and moving with it and there definitely have been some times where I got triggered on this trip Nothing that no one said or anyone did anything. It was all internal where I felt this like sense of control and everything had to be perfect. The perfectionist to me was kicking in. And again, going on walks like this is really just me reminding myself to let go to trust life. Not everything has to be perfect. And in fact, it's funny, there's a poster in our kitchen and it says, life does not have to be beautiful to be perfect. And I literally feel like that poster was built just for me. Like every time I see it, I'm like, okay. And that's kind of the moral of this story, guys. The moral of this video, it doesn't have to be perfect to be beautiful. And in fact, guys, if there's one thing I know, it will never be perfect. Even when you're traveling in your dream vacation, meeting your dream celebrities or dream superstars, guys, you're still gonna go through issues. You're still gonna have relationship problems. You're still not always gonna be mentally amazing, but that doesn't mean it has to be. That doesn't mean you can't move forward. That doesn't mean you can't enjoy yourself, guys. Despite that, breathe, trust God, see it as just part of the process, and then continue to move, guys. And in fact, that's what makes the journey. I don't think any vacation I've ever been on was without any issue or without any problem where I was in complete bliss the whole time no guys but we move forward despite that and that is the path do you understand it's supposed to be a little tainted just like if you get a sandwich it's not gonna be I don't know the perfect sandwich there will be little hiccups or little flaws but I really mean it that's what creates the sandwich that's what makes it memorable guys and this trip is no different even though it has been fantastic learning to let go more move with it and see it all as one big blessing Anyways, with that said, guys, let's finish up the rest of this 3D. Yes, this is my second one. Really waking up, guys, and then I'll see you at the gym. Hopefully hit this PR, make shit happen, and uh, yeah, let's get it going. Yeah, so that, that's that's my main thing. Is like, I you actually? Yeah, well, I'll try David's and yours, because I have actually both. And all right, this is the gym. This is what we are rocking with here, guys. Everything is steel equipment, so very different than Good Life. Obviously, you know, Good Life, we have rubber plates. I believe the flex is benching, but uh, I feel like I'm gonna be a little alone because the benching is in a complete separate room and all the homies are back here. So uh, yeah, we'll, we'll play it by ear, we'll see. But with that, let's cue these time lapses, get some stuff going. Caffeine is kicking, let's roll.
All right, guys, what's up? So uh, 335 moved very well. Keep in mind, there was like, <laughs> that was not a comp pause. That was like a very minuscule pause, uh, almost a tap and go. Um, but you know what? For this vlog and for David's vlog, I'm just gonna YOLO it. I'm just gonna send it. And uh, our third attempt, we're not gonna go 345. We're actually gonna go 355. Um, yeah, which I've never fucking done, but we'll try it. We'll see. Again, it's not a comp pause, um, but it's not like a tap and go. It's not like, like I'm not, there is no bounce off my chest, but it's not a comp pause. I'm letting you guys know because, and the leg drive and everything is not ideal, but I'll fucking try it, man. We'll see it. I genuinely have no clue, but seeing on how 335 moved, I gotta try it. Like 340, 35, it fucking flew. Um, so, there we go. Two tens, 355. Let's see. Again, not a comp pause, but let's fucking try. No, let's do. Bro. Let's go, bro. Let's fucking go. Let's go. Here we go, Eric. Up, go, get up, go, go, up, 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 yeah. Let's go, baby. Let's go, let's baby. Go, baby. Let's go, baby. I'm faster than the 95. How do you feel? I feel kind of easy. You feel easy? No, it's an air response. It felt kind of easy. That was good. It looked very good. Good job, man. That moved faster than 395, so. Um. <laughs> All right, guys, this is our third attempt. This is 355. The gym closes in literally five minutes. The man, Eric, crushed his PR. Now I got this. Again, it's not a comp pause, but we should be okay. And uh, yeah, let's fucking run it. And yeah, benching with David. PRs, baby, let's go. Let's go. Let's see. Here we go, baby. Three. Yep, up. Good. <laughs> And right guys, we fucking crushed it. I will not lie. <laughs> I definitely would not have counted in comp. It was a very ugly rep, but we did get it. I'm happy I had the man David. How do beasts you help give me the lift off so we both made these gains together? That was a beastly BI. Yeah. In fact, guys, I'm not kidding. Without edge and some good chalk, I would not have been, <laughs> I would not have been able to do that, guys. So, anyways, that's it. We literally have 30 seconds. Let's go. I'll check you guys in the next clip. All right, guys, and the workout is complete. Come on now. Yeah. We are getting some posing with the Edge crew, guys. Uh, David's yeah, just over there for the thumbnail, got the photos, and uh, I believe next is uh, food. So let's fuel these chest gains, 355 bench PR, which uh, you tell me if that's a PR or not. In a gym it is, powerlifting, not necessarily, but good enough. All right, guys, what's up? It is a little bit later. I always say that we're rocking here with 930 guys actually on, on route, on route? on route to Chipotle guys to meet up with the Edge team now. Bit of a backstory, I got the man Eric with me because he plays a vital role in this story. So, after we got back from, you guys saw the parking lot, we came back home and we had a shoot very shortly after. Now, I needed to book a test, like a test that goes up your nose, a COVID test to get back to Canada. And uh, I had some troubles with that because here in the States, supposedly the test I needed, no one has. Like all the pharmacies were either closed, granted it was my fault I left it so late, but I had to keep it like within a 24 hour radius. So all of them were either closed or they just didn't have the rapid test because in the US here, you know, COVID's not really a thing, right? So I was like, fuck. I might be fucked. And anyways, I knew that Walgreens had it. Long story short, me and the man Eric, this guy's like godsend because he drove me around. He was there the entire time. We went to Walgreens. Their pharmacy was closed, even though it said it was open. We then went to a hospital nearby. They were like, yeah, we got the most expensive test. It's nearly, it's about 500 Canadian. And I was like, what the hell? And uh, so there was one more Walgreens the guy gave me. He's like, yo, the pharmacy's open 24 seven, but you're supposed to book the appointment. And I couldn't book any appointment this day. They had, they were all just, they are all booked out. And my flight leaves tomorrow at 8 a.m. So like things were not looking good. I was like, I was like, man, like this might be it. But I had faith guys, Eric, we, we drove to the last Walgreens another 10 minutes away. Um, I talked to the lady, I told her, I was like, hey, I really need to get home and this is the only way. Do you have any rapid tests? And she was like, we don't really do this, but yes, okay. And holy shit, she gave it to me, bro. It was completely free, which on the website, it said it was like 30 bucks, which I guess it was, and it was completely free. I got it, uh, I tested negative, we're all good, I can go back home. So long story short, shout outs to Eric, man. This guy uh, really came through and now, uh, we can go meet everyone for Chipotle. The only sad part is I had to miss the shoot and unfortunately Eric did too because I had to get home to Canada. But honestly guys, getting home is very key because I don't have a place to stay. <laughs> so with that guys, we're not gonna enjoy Chipotle and then finish off the night. So with that, let's get Chipotle. Yes sir. Go ahead, Mr. Duhan. 
All right, guys, Chipotle is received, and we literally have, bro, they close in eight minutes, so they probably do not love us. Unfortunately, all the people behind me in the line, I don't know if you're getting your food because I took it all. Anyways, what'd y'all get? Tell them first, Mr. What did I get? Mr. Guacamole. Yeah, what'd you Dude, get? Dude, they didn't have even walk, so oh, freaking no. no walk. But I did get a steak burrito okay. with pinto beans. Okay. I got some freaking queso in there. The freaking queso. I got the queso, I got the pico, I got the lettuce, Jeez. I got the cheese, I got the corn, Bloody I got everything. Nose. Yes, sir. What were you paid? They were out of chicken, unfortunately, so I had to get the steak. Not bad, not a bad choice. <laughs> <laughs> so we got some rice, and they're pretty much out of everything. So I just got rice, beans, cheese, and lettuce, nice and simple. It's a good ass burrito, guys, and David, believe it or not, actually went with a bowl. The reason for that is. I don't know guys, my hands have been a lot of places today, so I just figured, I just figured I'm gonna keep it clean, get a bowl, a little bit of everything, half steak, half uh, carnitas. You guys know the whole flex, just basically as much as I can possibly get. And then I'm gonna eat probably a little bit at home, and then my ass is going to bed because myself and Kate have to wake up at like 5 a.m. or something ridiculous to catch our flight. So anyways, that's it. See you guys back home. Guys, end of the day, end of the night. It is quite late. We are rocking here with 11.54. I'm going to bed because I need to be up for five o'clock. They're watching a movie, but uh, I need to be asleep. I have no clue why because they gotta be up early too. With that said though, guys, Edge just finished it off by sending me some of their new clothing. I'll show it to you quickly here. All right, guys, I'm sure you can't see it the best because it's blending in with the bed, but we got their new enhanced tank tops and t-shirts, guys. We have white, gray, black, and green, but I didn't get the green ones. We have two grays, two whites, one black, Black, tank tops, three t-shirts as well, guys. They have their new tech joggers and these, I believe, movement shorts, which are super, super crispy. If any of you guys are interested, make sure to use coupon code Hammond, guys. That definitely does support me and it supports Edge, this awesome brand, which I definitely plan on working with for the near future. Definitely for as long as I possibly can, guys. I really was able to see for the first time through working with them how great of people they are. Both David, Julia, the team behind it, which is really just them, guys, as well as the other athletes, guys. This was such an eye-opening, fantastic trip to show you guys that your dreams are possible. It is definitely a realistic thing to make moves, get flown out, work with awesome brands, guys, and have a blast in the meantime. So guys, that is it. Thank you so much. I hope you all enjoyed the past two vlogs, guys. Meeting David, experiencing that full circle moment, as well as today, guys, the gym PRs, everything, the whole story about getting the COVID test. And guys, we are all good to go. So I leave back home tomorrow. I will be at home mid-afternoon and we will then resume the vlogs, videos, everything and everything. Thank you guys. Have an amazing day. Again, hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next video. With that said, I'll link How to Beast channel down below, guys. I'm sure you already all watch it, but check him out. Such a solid dude and it was awesome speaking to him on a personal level. With that, guys, till then, much love. Peace. Yeah.